NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft has recently sprung back to life after a silence since November. It's now transmitting usable data about its onboard engineering systems. Engineers are now working to restore the spacecraft's ability to transmit scientific data as well. Join us as we explore this latest development with Voyager 1 and its companion, Voyager 2, the only spacecraft to have ever journeyed into the mysterious expanse of interstellar space. In this video, we'll dive into the challenges, solutions, and exciting implications for the future of space exploration. The story began with a setback that could have spelled the end of an era for Voyager 1. This spacecraft, a silent wanderer of the cosmos since 1977, experienced a critical failure in its flight data system, FDS. The FDS, responsible for collecting, packaging, and transmitting data to Earth, was compromised when one of its memory chips failed. This tiny piece of technology, crucial for the mission's success, suddenly rendered Voyager 1's communications nearly unintelligible. The diagnosis was as challenging as the repair strategy. Engineers at JPL spent countless hours poring over the data, finally isolating the issue to the damaged chip. However, replacing this chip wasn't as simple as swapping out a part on a car. After all, Voyager 1 is currently over 15 billion miles away from Earth. So the approach was to reroute and redistribute instead of repairing. The team devised a method to bypass the damaged chip altogether. By reprogramming the spacecraft's operational software, they redistributed the tasks of the faulty chip across other parts of the FDS. On April 18th, the critical commands were sent. Each command took over a day to reach Voyager 1 and another day for the response to travel back to Earth. But finally, the data started coming in. Clear, usable data streamed through the deep void of space, confirming that Voyager 1 was not only receiving the instructions, but was also executing them flawlessly. This marked the first successful reception of engineering data in five months. With Voyager 1's engineering data flow restored, NASA's focus now shifts to the next series of challenges, ensuring the long-term stability of this data stream and working to restore the transmission of scientific data. The immediate goal is to extend the success of the engineering data fix to the scientific data systems by refining the FDS software, particularly the algorithms responsible for processing scientific data. This step is vital because scientific data offers unique insights into interstellar phenomena that are otherwise unobservable from Earth, making each piece of data extremely valuable. These insights are crucial for advancing space engineering, as they demonstrate the resilience of space hardware and highlight innovative problem-solving strategies essential for managing missions in environments where direct intervention is impossible. The ability of a mission to adapt to new challenges even decades after its launch, is a profound testament to the foresight and ingenuity embedded in its design and operation. This adaptability will be crucial as we push the boundaries of what is possible in space exploration. However, this spacecraft is showing signs of aging and wear. It has lost some of its instruments and functions, such as the cameras, the plasma wave instrument, and the gyroscopes. It is also running low on power, as its radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which convert heat from radioactive decay into electricity, are gradually losing efficiency. The question is, how important and valuable is the scientific data that the probe sends back to Earth? The probe is currently in a unique and unexplored region of space, the interstellar space, where it can study the properties and phenomena of the interstellar medium, such as the cosmic rays, the magnetic fields, and the plasma waves. The probe can also measure the pressure and temperature of interstellar space and compare them with the pressure and temperature of the solar wind, the stream of charged particles from the sun. The probe can also detect the presence and influence of other stars and galaxies and possibly other forms of life. The probe can also test some of the fundamental laws and theories of physics, such as general relativity and quantum mechanics, and see if they hold true in interstellar space. The probe can also provide new insights and perspectives on our place and role in the universe, as well as our connection and relation to other worlds and beings. However, the scientific data is also limited and challenging. 
The probe can only send a small amount of data, about 160 bits per second, which is equivalent to a few words of text. The probe can also only send data once every six months, when it is aligned with Earth. It can also only send data that is relevant and meaningful, as it has to prioritize and select the most important and interesting data. It can also only send data that is accurate and reliable, as it has to avoid and correct any errors and distortions. It can also only send data that is interpretable and understandable, as it has to translate and explain the data in terms that humans can comprehend and appreciate. So, what are the future plans and prospects for the Voyager mission and interstellar exploration? The probe is expected to operate until 2036, when it will run out of power and enter a hibernation mode. The probe will still continue to travel through space, but it will not be able to send any data or receive any commands. It will become a silent and lonely traveler, a relic, and a witness of human civilization. Thank you for joining us. We invite you to continue reflecting on the implications of these discoveries and what they tell us about our place in the cosmos. Stay informed and engaged as each piece of data enriches our collective understanding of the universe. Until our next session, continue to ponder the mysteries beyond our world.